Hello, it's me again. Today I will tell you about using R8 multi-track recorder with computer. So I will use it like uh, media interface and audio interface. So MIDI control surface, I would say. So uh, you need, first of all, you need to plug in to USB port your R8. So let's start from beginning. I'm powering off. Then see power on. So now. Uh, R8 is in multi-track recorder mode, but I need to connect it to the PC. To do this, I press USB button and then choose audio interface, then just execute. So the display turn turns to audio interface. Okay, now I must launch any of host sequences to try work with R8. So I first of all I will use Ableton Live. I'm launching Ableton. If you are not familiar with Ableton, it's not a problem because the principles are almost the same. Uh, so I need to choose my audio interface in audio section there should be something like zoom R8 so if I want to I can change the number of inputs change the number of outputs R8 has only two inputs and two outputs. So here you can change the buffer size in samples. So the bigger buff buffer means uh, bigger latency, actually. Then, okay. So now uh, to set Zoom R8 to work with Ableton Live like uh, control surface, you should go to the MIDI, then choose Mackie Control Input Zoom R8 Output Zoom R8, and here say Mackie Control. Turn track on in remote on. Then now it can work as control surface. So the play button will start sequencer and the stop button will stop it. Rewind is working, even the jog wheel is working, but it works for changing lanes like this. Uh, of course, uh, faders are working. Yeah, it's very convenient. And uh, even buttons can be used for muting or soloing tracks. For example, now I can solo the track with a button. So that's it for Ableton Live. Let's check uh, Reaper. Um, 
to set it working with Reaper, you have to go to Options menu, to the Preference section. Then you have to choose Audio Device, Zoom. You can set sample rate uh, more than so it, it can be set up to 96 but don't don't forget that you can use uh, included effects only when using 44 so this is quite important uh, you should turn you shouldn't turn uh, MIDI device for Zoom R8 because it's not actually a MIDI device so it can, can't send MIDI you can use it as control surface so this is in different section of the menu so in control surface choose Mackie control you can choose it from several uh, options edit and here MIDI input and MIDI output set to zoom R8 these numbers I don't use them I, I, I hadn't changed them and it's quite important if you will set uh, in in MIDI device section you will set uh, zoom R8 as like you can enable input and enable output to this device but it will not work correctly so now in in Reaper you can do almost the same as you can do in Ableton Live you can you can record using buttons on the on the uh, recorder you can of course change volumes you can solve the tracks you can mute tracks like now I'm soling the tracks with the button uh, and you can use actually jog wheel here as some kind of scrubbing thing it's it's quite convenient because it's i will record a small piece and i will show you how it works okay setting the tempo, tapping the button like okay. stop I can rewind I can play again using only this convenient uh, control surface I can use the jog wheel for doing like backwards and forwards it's very convenient I can like I can jump to any track 
Actually, you can use more buttons from this tool. For example, you can set these five buttons for like any MIDI command or a a any even command like for example to do this uh, sorry you have to go to the options menu now again to the preferences now uh, in general keyboard multi-touch you can press assign keyboard shortcuts to action or change existing shortcuts so it will bring the total list of possible commands in Reaper like there's a I don't know thousands of commands but I know that one of most often Comment that I use is undo, undo, and I would like to use some button on the R8 instead of pressing Ctrl Z each time. So I can type undo. Here it is, and then I just need to, you know, like. This is the standard command, Ctrl Z, but I can assign any of these five buttons on the R8 to do this command for me. To do this I need to press Add and now type K on more move controller. So I just need to press down any of these buttons. So, so that's it. Now it shows like there's one more possible shortcut shortcut for this command. And just close this window and I can easily, you know, undo this uh, for example recording using this one press of the button. Yeah, see? So that was it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.